So in this video now we will learn how to insert values in our any of that table by using a uh, bulk insert. So what do you mean bulk insert from any file format, CSV, text or any other way. So now I am going to explain this one from text, how we can insert it and what all condition we can put inside of this. So first thing, if I go and show you, so I have, I created multiple mm, files. So I created our one test file. First one with the name of ID and name as column name. And then I inserted here few rows. Here few rows are there. One is this one. So now if I go ahead and I will show you in SQL Server. So first thing, we need to find one table. Okay. So where we wanted to insert. So if I give this table name, so you can see that table is not exist. So first time I'm going to create this table here and then we will go ahead and see how it's, uh, we're going to all those steps, we will run it here. So now I will go and first try to create that table. So create table, table name, and I'm just creating two columns, ID and name. Okay. So if I execute it, so now table created. If I go ahead and run this one, select command. So now we nothing have in this table. So I will this. this one so in this table we don't have anything now if i go and use that bulk statement to insert it so so for bulk insert what we follows that syntax is bulk insert table name from where that file is located so right now i'm going to show with test so i will put the test oh. And it's a start with width, and then there are multiple things are there, but I'm going to consider only few things. So if I put that first row equals to two, means it needs to start with second row, not with that first row. You go and see it here. Not with the first, it's need to start with the second. I will show you why we need because in first one we have ID and name. That's why I'm making it to start with second. Okay. So one thing is this. Then field delimiters is there, row delimiters, batch size, and max error. So batch size is there in how many batches we wanted to insert. So this one I will explain you one of that other CSV file I created. So I created test one with approximately 50, one rows are there. So 50 rows are there. Basically one row is that column name. So here, suppose that right now we try to insert a small number of rows, so it's work fine. But if we have millions of record and we try to do it faster, so it's better to split it in a small chunk so that it can be done easily inserted and then we can commit it and then we can go ahead again next step and try to do it. That's why I'm creating that. Then in that case, we need that path size. And max error is there that we need to test it if any number of error we wanted to specify how many errors are okay and after this if more errors are there then skip that file it's not need to insert it so for this i created one more format so here i created inside that id i put that name and in that name i put that integer value okay and two wrong entry i did it so we'll try to understand how we can uh, while try to insert is that going to throw error and how we can do that using that max error okay so now i will run it and we will get one error okay and then i will explain what error i am getting now if we try to execute see we can see that cannot load this file because could not be opened and the reason behind we already opened that test file whatever test is file is there so if I go ahead and close this test file, okay. Now if we go back and try to run that. So now we can see that five row inserted successfully. I can cut this so that we can put it here and see that.
So if I execute this one, now we can see we have five rows. Okay, it successfully inserted here. Okay. So first thing I will show you that first row logic. So what I need to do first, I need to delete all those values from this table so that we can play around with this. So go ahead and delete. Now I will go ahead and delete this one. So now this is blank. So if I go ahead and put that equals to one and error size still two is okay. So you can see that we are getting that error. Okay. Type mismatch. Okay. But still the five rows are affected. So if we go ahead and execute it, you see that five rows are still inserted. Okay. So in this case, we can see that first row is giving us error. But I will go ahead and so from third so that you can understand. Then I will go ahead error part later. Now I deleted. So execute there are zero rows. So now I wanted to start with the third rows. So I go ahead and execute it. So now we only got four rows to be inserted. And if we run that ID one is not coming here because we started here to start with that first row is at three. Okay. So I will go ahead and make that back to two. So now here you understand that how to do that simply insert. Okay. Now I deleted this. So as we discussed, now we are going to understand that how to do that um, blockwise insert. So I will go ahead and close this as well. One. And you can see batch size I have given up 10. Okay. And now I am going to execute this one. So you can see now we are getting that nine rows affected. Then after this. 10 rows, 10 rows, and at the end, we are getting that 50 rows got affected. So we are getting in that best size of 10, except that first one will be 9. And all of them will be 10, 10 rows are getting inserted in this one. Okay. So in this way, we can, so it's happening, all those execution is happening in a small, small batches. That's why we are seeing different, different rows getting affected. So if I go ahead and run it, you can see total number of rows are 50. And all of them are inserted is perfectly okay so now i will go ahead and delete all of them 50 rows deleted nothing is there so now i will go ahead and do for two but before that i need to close it here so just remember that in id i pass it two wrong values okay and then i'm trying to insert it so now what i will do I will execute this one. So we are getting that matches. Okay. Two, two error matches came. But if I go ahead and execute. Still we are able to see that its value got inserted in this table. But we got that error as well. Okay. So if I re-execute it. Error but six row are affected. It's getting it out. And if we go and see that result, all six are there because I use that six. So it's got inserted. Then you may ask that what is that max error why it's two and all. So now if I go ahead and replace it with one. Okay. So you can see it here. We put that maximum error allows are two. So that's why two are there. Then it's working fine. Still it's inserting it out. So first thing I will go ahead and delete those things and then we go ahead and execute. So now no rows are there. Now I put max error will be one. Only one error we can allow. If more than that, then what it's going to be. It's not going to insert that this part only in this table. So if I go ahead execute, we saw that okay, server null. So it's and if I go ahead and execute now, do not see any uh, rows are getting inserted. Region behind we have error more than one that's why it's not inserting it out if i put go ahead and put two and execute it it will show that we are getting error but it will insert as well on the same time so in this way we can define okay or uh, something we wanted to insert and some conditions are not followed then what is that maximum size 
that percentage that we going to ignore to insert it and leave it. Those records they get automatically getting excluded and getting all those valid records getting inserted. So in this way, we can use that max error and we can pass it and then insert it. So I hope you understand this topic.